Hello, pick breakers and sheep punchers. This is Jury Duty Summons, and I'm here in one of my test worlds to show you guys how to play Terraforma Craft. And in this episode, we will be getting through the very basics of uh, starting on your first day, essentially. So one of the first things you want to start doing is start collecting these little uh, white squares. These are where you get your cobblestone from. So you can see they're marble rock. Now, whatever you pick up is probably going to be something different, but um, we're going to want to collect quite a bit of it, in fact. Ta-da! If you get something other than a stone of some kind, if it looks like a different shape, mark where you found that. Just do something like... Uh, something like that. It's just you. I, that's the what you just picked up is likely a nugget of metal of some kind and knowing where you picked it up is going to be helpful later on for now we're not going to worry about that too much other than if we find them we're going to mark where we found them at all right so after you have a good stockpile of stone you're probably going to want them more than more than what i picked up but uh just want to move along at this point go ahead and just start breaking leaves leaves are going to drop sticks Sticks are important for making tools. So in a minute, when we get to that point, that's going to be very necessary. As you can see, I am occasionally breaking grass, and that is because this is how you get seeds. Uh, we won't need them right away, so wouldn't spend too much time and energy doing that. But, um, you know, if you run across something, go ahead. There we go. I got about six. Bah. Uh, Yes, indeed. Okay. So we got quite a bit of stone, a little bit of sticks. The first, the very, very first thing we've got to do is make a tool. So you take your stone, put both pieces of stone in the inventory crafting bench right there, crafting spot. It's going to two stones to make one stone. That will bring up what's called the napping screen. And so in here, we're going to click on these little squares. So this is a five by five cube and we're going to make the shape of the tool we're going to make. Right now we're going to make an axe. So an axe is this shape. There we go. And that produces the axe head. There are other tools that we'll need at some point. Like for instance, this will be a shovel head. So right there, shovel head. And um, for the most part, that's all you really need for right now. Because axes get used up pretty fast, I am going to make a couple of them, in fact. Uh, two's probably good for now. Okay. All right, the way you actually use this is you take these, you put this, the axe head at the top, and you put a stick underneath. And that makes your stone axe. So I'll make two of them real quick. Now we need wood. We'll need wood definitely for our first to, to be able to survive our first night. Okay. The way you chop down a tree is you find the lowest portion on the tree and you start chopping. It's going to seem like it's slow. It is. <laughs> That's just the way things work. The good news is you, um, you actually get the entire tree down when you finish chopping. So although it feels like it's slow, it's actually a little bit quicker than uh, otherwise it might be. As you can see here, there's a couple different kinds of wood. Each, uh, each of the woods functions essentially the same, uh, but they do have different aesthetics. And so if you're looking to make like a special kind of design, that's something to pay attention to. Here, let me chop one more tree. Lots of wood. Okay. That's plenty of wood for now. You might want to collect a little bit more. What I want to do now is actually get a few more sticks. I will need them in the next phase. And what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I got some basic supplies down. So what I'm going to do is...
I'm going to find a nice little flat spot to build a little cabin. This will allow me to be protected at night and uh, give me kind of a base of operations. Oh, so there's our first seed, so tomato seed. We're going to hold on to that for now, and we'll get to that in a later episode. Um, but it's just important to keep, if you find any, hold on to them. Okay, I'm going to, well, I'm going to start building a house here. Let's see, this is a good place. Oops. Remember, careful how you put them down. <laughs> All right, just in time, we have finished the house, and uh, night is approaching. So we're going to go in there. It's going to be a little bit dark. Let me see if we can set the, fix that. So that's a, a little bit better, at least for the video here. So what we're going to want to do now is build a couple things. First of all, a crafting bench. So we're going to take the ash wood that we have here, put it in the little crafting area with an axe, and that's going to create planks. We're just going to do a full stack. We're going to take these planks, put four of them in a square, and that'll make old style planks. We're going to use those in the old pattern to make a crafting bench. All right. Next step, we're going to want a fire. To make a fire, we're going to need a fire starter. So a fire starter is simply two sticks in the little crafting area to make a fire starter. Put that in our little line right there. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw three sticks onto the ground. And then right click on the sticks with the fire starter to see if we can get a fire lit. There we go. So poof, we have a fire. Fires are extremely useful. On the left hand side here, this is where the fuel goes. In the middle, this top part is the active part. It's what you're cooking or what you're gonna be heating up. The bottom part is the results. And the right hand side is for, um, what is it called? Like slag and, and things like byproducts. We don't have to worry about that right now, but eventually that might come up. So let me add a little bit of fuel here. You saw that stick, that log disappear. It's because it was consumed immediately. And we're going to put four in there. Fire will only hold four logs at a time. You can just toss them like that. That will put them on the fire if there's room. So this is actually kind of handy if you have to, do with, have to deal with more than one. You probably noticed this bar right here that goes from all the way to black to all the way to white. Or from white to black goes through red and yellow, etc. This is our temperature gauge. This tells you how hot the fire is cooking. That will matter for a number of things. For instance, if you're cooking food, that will affect how long it takes for the food to cook. And uh, when you start doing metal, certain metals need certain temperatures, but we'll get into that later. You notice it actually produced light. It's your first form of light, and it's uh, roughly equivalent to a torch, I guess. All right, so let's pick a door. Doors are made the same, except you're gonna use the new planks, regular planks, and just make it into the door shape. And we'll put a door down. Sweet. Okay, and um, the last thing I wanna do is make a little chest. Ta-da! And I'll put some of the junk in here that I don't want. Huh, oh, why can't I do that? Well, the thing about tools is that they're too large to fit in chests. Go figure, right? Later on, we'll talk about how we actually store those, but uh, don't be surprised when you can't put it in there. Fire starters apparently can, because they're not tools, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, this was the first episode. Later episodes, we'll cover some more advanced topics, but I just wanted to get you guys started on your first night. Ooh, boy, it's dark out there. All right, talk to you all later. Have a great day.